what's going on everybody my name is del prince and welcome back to yet another reaction video i know it has been a very long time since i have recorded video but there has been an extreme reason why i have been having technical difficulties with both my microphone and currently at the moment my webcam has started to bug out i don't know why so if it bugs out at any point during this video i apologize i don't know what's happening this literally just started five minutes before i hit the record button but microphone issue has been the huge, largest problem by far in the last four months, and now I I know how to fix it when it ha when that happens. So if I if it if so that's why I haven't been recording lately. This has been the major issue, and it's been it's like in my progress to make good videos for you guys. And I've been wanting to record ever since this happened, but ever since the microphone started to bug out on me in OBS, my recording software. I just haven't had the motive to record, even though I've been trying to fix it for quite a long time. Every time it was fixed, it was bugged out and it wouldn't work again. That's been the issue I've been kind of dealing with, and I'm sorry for going silent about it for like the, for the last four months or so. And I say four months because that's how long the issue's been recurring. But now it's fixed. I know how to fix it now permanently. Apparently, I was missing something. And my, Chris much for two gave me a hand with that, but now it's fixed. Hopefully, this doesn't happen again. I know why it happens. It happens every time my computer now gets uh, an update, so it disables my microphone and turns off all the other systems. Seems uh, important to it to keep it fully connected. That was the issue. That was also the main reason of issue because the microphone was not completely connected. So hopefully that explains why I've been making videos. And we're going to start off with something different for coming back to YouTube. We're going to be start watching a video by the Russian Badger. I had no intention of actually starting to react to him, but after watching a few of his videos for like the last month and a half, I now very much love watching his content. <laughs> so we're going to go start off with something strong, and we're going on the topic of Halo, since Halo Infinite is coming out by the end of the year, and I'm, the beta session is currently going on right now, and I watched a, a live stream about it, at the beta and it's looking good so far so hopefully it stays good and we're going to go ahead and watch the russian badger armor lock armor lock armor lock armor lock armor lock halo reach for the first time and i know this video has been out for like the last two days but just haven't had the opportunity to come down sit down and react to it so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now and starting in three two one Go. This video is sponsored by Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, my brand new Gamer Subs flavor that's on sale now. This is not what? a joke, not a meme, it's real. I'll tell you more halfway through the video. Let's roll. Why I should throw what? the plastic six pack ring into the river, I don't want it. The river is right there. <laughs> Take it from somebody who wet his bed until he was like 14. I have a real tier list for diapers. Good nights cannot Why? be top. They are S tier. S tier. <laughs> Dog, you can down three two liters of Mountain D. And you can go to sleep. Yo ass ain't wet in the bed. That That's basically like wearing a mattress around your pelvis, dog. I don't think I was prepared for this conversation. Yeah, you're Flashbang <laughs> by words. I don't what was that conversation? All right, now we're in CSGO. What? Why? You're just kind of dropping that on us out of nowhere. Hold up, Badger. 14? Yes, 1-4. I was well into junior high, and I was still a threat to my parents. <laughs> what? Okay, that was a little confusing. Welcome to Halo Reach. Welcome to Halo Reach, a game so old it was actually designed to be fun. They made this game by just saying this in the boardroom. We need a good game. Okay, so let's just take R6 Extraction. And do none of that. Halo videos. <laughs> I love playing Halo for the love of God. Here's a picture of how many hours I have on the Master Chief collection currently. The last time I checked, I haven't played Halo Halo in like a week, but it should say over 350 hours played of game time play. It is one of my most played games on my entire Steam account. I have over 20 games on that account. But 
it's to prove how much I play this goddamn game, and because I love it, it so be much. Impossible to make. Just the thought of organizing but, this horse shit is making my skull ache. Atrocity. It's like being challenged to make a cool-looking T-shirt, but the only thread available to you is spaghetti. Like, sure, I could make the shirt, but any way I weave it, it's still fucking spaghetti. Welcome to Five Guys. How can we absolutely Man, scam the shit, shit out of you today? <laughs> you may be able to speak okay. coherently now with know. sentences like "Master Chief is on the cover of that Mountain Dew bottle," but by the end of this, that will not be the case. They put the man to chief in the soul. Man to chief in the soul. But if you're okay, oh my god, those commercials. Numbers, by I remember those number commercials. Brain cells. Yo, it is doing Damn. numbers on everybody. <laughs> on everybody. Like mentally. That, that is still I wonder when he, he and his friends recorded this. Guy yeah. this degree, it had to have been a few while a while ago. Shit, doing numbers. <laughs> Here's my experience with Halo Retaliate. As a Mountain Dew baptized veteran of Halo 1 and Halo 2, I wasn't completely okay. new to the series, but I didn't know shit about Reach. I was so clueless, I didn't know if the campaign was four players or 40. We better have 16 gamers in the campaign. <laughs> 16 Spartans. Doug, you're the last brute. You just see the clan tag of Jello balling and can't get up running towards you. We literally fucking save Reach. We change the end of the game. You're the final brute. You see somebody running oh at you with a BTS clan tag. George, George yeah. lets us split the ship. He's just throwing us off into space. <laughs> Don't forget Reach or some shit. Oh, no. I definitely knew where it took place. No matter how many times Jello lied Before to me, I knew that glass. Was about reach. <laughs> oh my god, that arm stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely knew it took place in the future. I don't know how it's been 500 years and the ships in the U.S. Navy still aren't accepting sponsorships. That doesn't make any sense. Yo, the USS Cod is a real thing? Better than the USS Tilapia, to be honest. <laughs> the USS what? USS Lobster Fest. Yo, if they actually <laughs> sponsor an aircraft carrier. I like the USS Fuddrucker. <laughs> What? And I definitely knew. I don't even know half of these restaurants. Which, spoiler warning. Spoilers! This game came out like 2007. I don't care. 2010. I feel like any time anybody came out 2010. Asks me what I animate in is like, damn, that's some good graphics. What, what, what engine is that? It's like, dog, that is Source from like 2007. <laughs> <laughs> everyone dies. Literally everyone dies. I Except guess June. June. Technically, just dips, which is where the dying is gay. I'm out meme comes from. <laughs> Wait, that's a meme. Gay, but everyone does. Game over. The game ends with an objective that just says survive, and you cannot complete that objective. So you're basically toast. Third objective. <laughs> objective. Survive. survive. Oh, uh, long wolf. Is. And now, after beating the game, I feel like I know less about the story, if that's even possible. With every bite-sized explanation from my squad being either intentionally misleading or just flat-out vague. So does this planet reach even matter? Well, yes, but actually. No. Is your clan tag no, or is that like your general status yeah. towards orders? <laughs> it's just no. <laughs> yes. Even when I tried to grasp what was going on in cutscenes, I either got a shitty summary from Jello or a sudden death of one of the main characters. What happens? So no head? <laughs> 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 You're on your own, Noble. Turn around. This is a good part, right? Nobody dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you wait, Badger. You've never. I just realized what you say. He's never played Reach. The school's are uh... Got even worse when I dressed my Spartan up like Ronald McGoddamn Donald and was somehow simultaneously an active participant in cutscenes while also being a dead body in cutscenes. I just don't get this anymore. Look at my smiley face. I look like a walking fucking happy me. <laughs> <laughs> my dead body was in the middle of that cutscene? Yeah, it was. Split, Who's man. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, shit. That's it. All the noble team is dead. All of noble's team is dead, including you right there. Two yeah. times. <laughs> How does he do it? Wait, you can't survive, right? No. No, no. 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 It is actually impossible for you to survive. Ronald finishes the fight. <laughs> now I want to see Ronald oh, no. with a fucking bean sword. Are you feeling the spaghetti now? Are you feeling the spaghetti? I'm now? not feeling it, Badger. I feel the marinara sauce coming out of my ears, and it tastes like Mountain Dew. They put the Mountain Dew in the show. Fuck it. You want to know the best part? I don't of the remember Reach that campaign? commercial. George. Literally George. He's this giant ass behemoth of a character, the size of a monster truck. When every other Spartan is like a mid-sized sedan, and he's got to be one of my top five favorite characters of all time. And he's straight up just named George. This is a big boy. <laughs> it's like take your son to work day. Just drink a lot of glue. A lot of glue. <laughs>
<laughs> his name is fucking George, Chad. There's no way his name is George. Yeah, that's, that's George, George, bro. <laughs> they that's really the named the chalkiest dude in the campaign, walking around with like a tank sized minigun, George. I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> George, you, you, you got a character oh, named Cat. Depending on your language pack, he might be Jorge. Okay. <laughs> what? George's blood type is protein shake. <laughs> Yo, George, George, go first. What did George do? Why is George so damn big? You need to use your mocap suit to, to make George cross up Master Chief and dunk. <laughs> I can do that. That'd be lit. Ballin' for that what cost? Chat, Badger will never be ballin'. OBJECTION! Badger, Badger fucking ballin'! ballin'. <laughs> George is the perfect encapsulation oh of the Halo Reach campaign in my brain. Because I don't really understand him, he's got some confusing characteristics, but I love him with all my heart, just being in his he's a good presence I love George. I think George was actually... I actually think I have to do a community poll to see who is the most favorite uh, Spartan of Noble Team, aside from Noble Six. I think I'll do that. I actually currently have a poll going on right now for Star Wars on the community path. So you guys are going to go check that out. Go over to the community and you'll see a list or um, a poll going on. I think I'll do that after I'm done recording this, actually. I'll do that. Just like everybody else. Just to oh, see who's... <laughs> Just to kill see what's happening. Like, yeah, what is this? I have never done this. Who the hell is this? Ooh, kill him in jar. I'm sure George dies. No. Maybe. The only way off this slag heap is gravity. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I don't want to go up these. I don't want to go up these. Oh, my God. Damn, that's, that must mean, be how Skulker <laughs> feels when his fast is bedtime. <laughs> Fucking Brooke just picks Skulker up and throws him in the bed. <laughs> she is taller than him, right? They're like an inch apart. I think she like, has the inch. <laughs> Yo, 5-1 like, versus 5 feet. I'm glad we finally know who the round meal was designed to serve. There is only one man dense enough to tackle this goliath of protein and calories, and his name is George. Round meal? Oh, man. On the yeah. label, it says feeds three men. Like specifically, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, round meal, macaroni and beef, serves three men, how to do it, boil in bag. I just, I just realized if you look uh, on the side, right next to it, you can see all the different packages for it. now I understand why it says that. Why is it that big? Open and enjoy. Oh my God. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna see just like, like a lineup of every motherfucker who has ever purchased that. Protein blasted. <laughs> Speaking of which, the campaign gameplay is a fucking blast. I mean, you could be racist towards enemies without technically being racist, according to YouTube's terms of service, because they're alien, non-human, fictional, and the slurs are officially endorsed by Bungie. Ah, oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get fucked, split lip. <laughs> That's a new one. Can we get a I've heard split split jaw. species? <laughs> There's the meme. There's the meme I'm probably gonna get slammed with in the future because I'm an elite of first species. My entire channel is an elite. Over there on the side of the screen is an elite. <laughs> oh god. It took me I didn't even know that meme existed until like three months ago until somebody told me about that. And I'll see if I can find a picture of it and put it on screen for you guys right now. But of the of the meme itself, <laughs> I can't believe they're at the national meme. I prefer playing elites. I do. I do. There's nothing wrong with that for me. I just love elites. Oh, you Ooh. got dropped! <laughs> Holy what? shit! Ow. You've got enemies that are racist towards you that I had no idea Uno existed Wait, until what? Abby told me. Bro, Hold on, the are the jackals away. the ones that can like jump around like maniacs over here? Those are yeah. skirmishers. They're like jackals, but racist. <laughs> now, I okay. firmly believe that the two most dangerous enemies on Reach are grunts and your own AI teammates. And everybody else is just cannon fodder. Oh, <laughs> suicide grunt. Oh, God. Are they that intelligent? That was a grunt straight run and had him with two grenades.
grenades in his hand, screaming. That's like Skulker running at me with two chicken nuggets at McDonald's. <laughs> like, oh my god, this is scary. Oh, what the what fuck the? just happened? Was that was that noble? I've never seen that happen before. With the AI just straight up killing you without you even betraying any of your allies. I've never seen that before. That's It was Get it? Like, why did I suddenly gain so much inertia? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what the physics be like, oh, another suicide growth. Oh, my boy Badger was trying to do a back with long jump off the planet. Oh, kill the pineapple. Get the pineapple. Oh, the tag what team the combo, Jello. That's like an alley oop with a grunt. Don't even get me started about the weapons, because the gravity hammer alone is enough to keep me oh, happy. No. It just scratches that same itch as the tire on the grunt. fallout. It's so crude. Yet tire on so Spot. Let me get the monkey. Let me get the monkey. <laughs> the only downside being that, forgiving the analogy, if you put a literal hammer in my hands, it makes everything look like a nail, and I won't discriminate between friend and foe when swinging this thing around. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. You thought. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, that's an achievement? Go back. <laughs> what achievement is that? You two, get out of the way. Hold on, I have to go back and just let look it like a nail. play so I can get, so I can see that achievement. Well, I've bitch. never, I don't think, I don't even know if I have that. You thought. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian of... I, of... Wolfman? I have to take a look at my achievements. Give me! <laughs> what? Wow, that was literally a oh, giving you moment. Fucked up, bitch. Oh, heavenly! Oh, so heavenly! Oh. <laughs> Why did you say it? <laughs> it's obviously not your only option because gentle persuasion is quite the weapon in co-op games. If you can cleverly convince someone to do something, that's definitely a deadly skill. Are you making a machinima right now? No, bro. I'm fucking. I, I blasted some tunes in my helmet, bro. I'm listening to that <laughs> new dream song, bro. That's what the mask is for. That's what the mask is for. Yo, can you throw him out? Yeah. Can you literally hey, just me. like? <laughs> He's way to save a duck. What? You must hate that dream song. You look so relieved just to unbuckle your seatbelt and take a step. I think these are achievements you can only you can only get when you're playing with other players. I've never played with anybody in co-op for Halo Reach. The only people I only played co-op campaign with John and my brother. For Halo 3, which there is a recording of that Let's Play, by the way, on the channel. It's over a year old at this point. But that was the last time we ever did a co-op, because we none of us have had time to play Halo together. So I'm always playing Halo by myself. So I never knew that existed for the campaign. I guess, there's I, like I said earlier, I think there's only achievements you can get by playing with other players. Oh. Huh. Okay. In the campaign. <laughs> Of course you can choose brawn over brain. I don't know why the fellas don't find the Halo oh God, the Among Us just guy. punching something over and over until it explodes as funny as I do, but I respect the brute force persistence. Alright, I got the monkey gun. Holy shit. Damn, you're just punching it a bunch? That's how you yeah. deal with it? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. That's how you deal with it. Yeah, the cash just got on and started punching. Pick him up! Pick him up! <laughs> oh! Or Cliff! Yo, no you're fucked, dog! Up, baby. You're fucked! <laughs> You are <laughs> punch you. That's actually something else you can do in the game. You you have to try there's an achievement if for trying to get a forklift kill, and I have still yet to try and get one. Every time I try and try and get one, I immediately get either blown up by a plasma grenade or get railed by a freaking hunter. It's hard to do, it is not easy. Or any kind of explosive wet ordinance. It's hard. It's very hard You're to so get that hard achievement. You exploded. You know how hard you have to hit somebody for a person. What you know about <laughs> the solution to anything bad that you don't want? Just punch it until it explodes. Another highlight of the campaign was this challenge involving a 200 foot jump off a cliff for the only. That was from the last season. Okay, I know where they're go where he's going with this. This is the previous season. The way to survive is by executing an elite to break your fall, and if you goof, I never got. I never got this achievement. I never got it. Your legs and die. Assassinate this motherfucker to get this helmet. All right, fuck it. I'm going. I got it. 
Oh, you did it! You son of a Wait. bitch! Wait! And then I stole it! And then I stole it! <laughs> Just fucking do it. Run it back. Wait, what is that? You oh, it's an officer. Right? I couldn't tell. It wasn't rendered in. What? <laughs> The elite's armor wasn't rendered in completely, so I couldn't tell what what it was. I thought it was a major at first. Cause I go back for a second. That looks like a ma like a red major from Halos one, two, and three, which is which is basically just the same armor, just recolored. Anybody who plays Halo, you'll know what I'm talking about. Son of a bitch! And then I stole it! And then I stole it! <laughs> just fucking. I'm actually wearing a. Halo shirt right now, but it's a Halo 5 shirt. I only have one Halo shirt, and I did not really enjoy Halo 5. So, that's crunch for me. You threw a grenade at the wall. I feel fucking nice. Nice. This is like watching the disabled kid run the Hail Mary, knowing damn well he won't catch it. Oh, and the rat? Easily the second best character in the game after George. Part of me wants to go back and ask George to yeet him off reach before it gets glass so he can live a long and cheese filled life in peace. Yo, this is the rat! This is the rat in SFM! Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me get the detail graphics. Look at him go. Let me get the rat. How do, I want to pick him up and squeeze him twice to. Oh, why did you kill the rat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you fucking deserved, Jello. Pick him up and use him as a weapon. Oh, he has jiggle Dude, physics after he dies? The Don't hit it. it! I love every bit of reach, all the way down to the copyrighted music that I can't show you, because I'll get glassed. I mean, sued by the composer. <laughs> Shut up, generic gamer tag. Beethoven been real quiet since fart.mb3 came out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And before we even get to the multiplayer, I gotta thank the sponsor of this video. Me. Fucking me. Yeah, I'm gonna sponsor this shit. Fuck you, mobile game publishers. I'll do it myself. Silence, Brian. I can't believe I'm saying these words out loud, but thanks to my sponsor, Gamer. I'll, I'll let this I now one slide. Have my very since own it's... energy drink, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. The ultimate strawberry lime flavored gaming beverage that puts every other dumbass liquid on the planet to shame. I'm not kidding either. I'm dead ass. It's my very own flavor. And here's why it's different. I've tried this almost every energy drink you can imagine. Motion from Red Bull to Rockstar to Game Fuel. I'm like a 10th prestige veteran of boomer ass white monster alone. And all these drinks have one thing in common. They're too much. They're too much. They spike your blood sugar with a heart racing, head crushing blast of energy that makes you want to pick up a truck and throw it across a Denny's parking lot. Technically, this is a Walmart, but you get the idea. Followed by an abrupt crash where your blood sugar tanks and you can barely sit up in your chair to continue shit posting on Discord. Gamer Subs is different because instead of dropping a nuclear bomb on your body's energy levels, it's a light boost to your day with just a tiny scoop that you add to water featuring 100 cop? milligrams of caffeine to keep you alert okay. and focused. No, I'm not one to judge. No racing heart. No, no headaches and no sugar with a sweetener that has no impact on your blood sugar or insulin levels. It's even diabetic friendly. And over the past year, you guys have guzzled so much of it, they let me craft my own flavor, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. A perfect combination of strawberry and lime that I start every day with two scoops of. And on that note, that's what makes Gamer Subs beautiful. If you're a 200 pound piece of shit like me and need two scoops, go for it. But if you're caffeine sensitive and need to go lighter and have one scoop or half a scoop, or add a shit ton more water. It's all up to you. But whatever you do, don't compare us to G Fuel. G Fuel is garbage. Not even getting I've never even had any of these drinks. That is over four times larger than Gamer Subs or the blood sugar spikes from Malto Dextrin. Just do this. Wake up one day, have yourself some G Fuel and see how you feel. Wake up the next day, have yourself some Gamer Subs and see how you feel. Then literally punch yourself in the fucking face <laughs> for even comparing the two because one makes you feel like garbage and the other is a light tail into your day. Grab yourself some guacamole gamer fart or any other flavor for that matter at the link below and use code badger for 10% off. I feel like a whole new person after switching from regular energy drinks to gamer subs and I'm confident you'll feel the same. Guacamole gamer fart 9000, the official energy drink of shit. Now back on topic, okay. reach multiplayer is a special. I've never had any of those four drinks. The only drinks I yes, I only drink that's related is Gatorade and that's really it, but I don't Drink it extremely often. Maybe I'll have one, like one Gatorade, once every other month or so, or maybe twice a month if I'm at the store, right? like I was yesterday. But I didn't buy any, any Gatorades. But yeah, I don't really drink 
those kind of have any of those drinks often. Like it's like every once in a while I have I'll have one. Like I'll take a walk to the store, I'll just grab one, and then come home for four dollars. <laughs> kind of fun. And that's fun it. Where even when you're getting your shit stuff <laughs> by a bunch of flaming skull veterans that have a hundred times the hours you do, it's still fun. We're Whoa. good. We're good. We're good. We're we good. ain't good. We ain't good. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that first shot god was it. dead bullseye. It's even more fun once you discover one of its key features, which requires absolutely no introduction. Armor lock. <laughs> Armor lock, bitch. <laughs> That's what you get. The best phrase to come out of Halo Reach. Yeah, armor lock, bitch. I just love how much trash you talk while armor locking, and then the red X that says heck. <laughs> just like, was it really? It tech? was still worth it. Twitch chat was really out here trying to tell me that armor lock isn't a strategy, to which I responded. <sighs> Armor lock, armor lock, armor lock. Armor lock, yes. Fuck you, I mean, other team. I'm gonna armor lock in your ass. Not really, armor lock <laughs> armor isn't, lock. A, okay. isn't really a strategy, but it's mostly used by... Yes, I turned... I only use it every now and then when I have to... When I'm playing big team battles. That's the only time I actually use it, to tell you the truth. That's... Unless it's a very small map, then I just rent. Around and pummeled his clown ass. You disrespected that boy. I ain't dead yet, motherfucker. There we yeah. go. That's what you use armor lock for. Come at me, fucker. Nope. Rejected. Damn. Denied. Damn. Denied. Denied. Damn. Denied. Damn. Denied. Oh, oh my god. god. Literally just got robbed in the streets of Baltimore. <laughs> armor locking. We literally just ran Uncle Ben for his foams right there. <laughs> got me for my it. foam, Spider Man. <laughs> Did you outsmart someone with armor lock? I think. If that guy dies. Oh. Death is imminent. Yes. Hell yeah. Assisted. <laughs> if that guy dies in a rocky sauce. <laughs> and even if you fuck it up, you still win. Because something hilarious is bound to happen when you pop out of it, like getting blown up with a plasma grenade and smashed by the hood of a speeding vehicle simultaneously. <laughs> Do it to me, daddy. Actually, that actually brings up something. Has anybody ever seen the armor lock animated video? That came out like maybe seven or eight years ago. If you guys haven't, go check that out. It's literally called Halo Armor Lock Animation. Or I don't remember the exact title of it, but that's the sum of what it is. It was definitely a something, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Damn, I got what I fucking deserved. I 100% deserve that. That was the absolute worst time to have my armor lock expire, dog. The main feature of Reach multiplayer that I love is the lack of customization, which I know sounds impossible given the virtual requirement nowadays to pack every game with skins and charms and skills and perks and battle passes, and I want to vomit. Like, Warzone is fun, but getting torn to shreds every game by perfectly optimized characters gets really old really quick that's why i do not play warzone anymore i used to only played it in october and that was the last time i played it perfectly equipped to exterminate you i am black the ace of spades impossible to see in shadows and all six of the attachments on my primary and secondary weapons are perfectly optimized to win every engagement regardless of distance <laughs> beam sword go Everything about Reach was so much fun because I more or less always felt the same as other characters around me, and I wasn't getting cheesed by the sweatiest meta strategy that everyone copycats to try to gain an advantage. Of course, there are seven armor abilities you can choose from to augment your experience, but they came unlocked for everybody. I really only <coughs> saw Sprint and Armor Lock, and I never felt like it made a radically different opponent while running one versus and nobody the other. Else, the magic nobody else really uses the other abilities, like Hologram, Jetpack, uh, Bubble Shield. I actually evade is also commonly used, and I forgot the other one. Active camo. There we go. But sprint and armor lock are the most primary ones you'll see people use. Of reach is that everybody starts with the same battle rifle. Everybody can pick up the same weapons, and everybody can commit cold-blooded vehicular homicide in the same warthog. Let's run somebody over into warthog. Get ready. We're gonna get this fuck. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> 
Piano. This makes Reach immediately fun. Unlike so many other titles nowadays that are definitely still fun, but it takes but they're hours slowly dying. and hours of grinding, customization, and optimization to get to that fun. So again, even when I was getting gaggle fucked by half the enemy team, I was still having fun. Because they didn't kill me by abusing the latest gimmick everyone's running to gain an unfair edge. They killed me because they're better than me, and I ain't even mad. I'm about to stick some buckshot in this guy's schnuts. Wait. Oh god, I got oh, <laughs> as soon as I said that, I got my neck snapped. Dog, I did not know there was gonna be four motherfuckers in that room that quickly. Oh my god. and get hit. I'm not even mad. That was like a raid on Bin Laden right there. Holy shit. My basic strategy revolved around spam. Like, beyond the obvious requirement of spamming armor lock at every opportunity, my entire focus in any engagement was railing my W key to close the gap on my opponent so I can spam and my melee. And just melee them. Yeah! Got his ass! Shotgun blasted right into my elbow, bitch! <laughs> I love the double bubble. You just turn into like a body meatball. What is this? We were just eating our meat Bite. in the corner. In a totally non sexual. What was that? Do not age Kate this video. Jesus please Christ, don't. Dude, please just yes. give me the money. Just give me the damn cash. Oh god, we're bringing back I sheesh. I got McDonald's Big Mac. Mig, <clears throat> Mig back. Mig back. And I just started spamming everything else. I know the major complaint about Reach is the bloom, where your crosshair expands and becomes less accurate unless you take a nap between shots. But if you rapid spam every bullet, every grenade, and every vehicle you have as fast okay. as you can, your accuracy doesn't seem to matter. Wait, 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 wait. How do I hijack or whatever it is? Killing spree. Killing spree. Wait, this thing has rockets. This is good, right? Hell yeah! Killjoy! Enjoy that wow. grenade, asshole! Spaghetti yeah! Got his ass! <laughs> got him. I'll wait, bro. I'll wait for you to get back. I'll wait. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a grenade! Oh, shit! No. Oh, I thought it was a triple. God damn! Thank you. Oh, out of, the, out of the air! Double kill! Goodbye! That's what I'm doing. Ooh! <laughs> Oof, that hurt. That was, it hit so hard, he just goes lifeless in mid-air. <laughs> okay, this is a good idea. Wait, nope, on. you're gonna die. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna get this guy, though. Well, actually, I you can- God, is the ass! Hell yeah, yeah armor lock. lock! I'm gonna survive. Yes, I survived! Actually, if you, if you guys didn't know this, you can actually kill someone with the propellers. Didn't think that was possible until a few years back when I, when I first started playing Halo. You can actually get a kill with the propellers. Even though that doesn't usually seem possible in Halo titles, which most of the time they it isn't. But ever since the Falcon was introduced, they actually added the propeller physics. And I didn't know about that until maybe two years after I started playing Reach. So I got killed by it once. Survived. How the fucking god. That's why. Actually built different. And there is actually no spam built like Rafe spam. W R A I F Rafe. It may be Rafe. a split lip technology, it may be a giant alien magic school bus that looks like a fucking plum, but anything that allows me to get a running riot and a kill tacular with my IQ is definitely worth spamming. Dude up there? Yeah, there was a dude up there. What a straight line. Ooh. Halo Reach Wraith, it's always Beth Wraith. Change my mind. Direct what? impacted. Boom, oh, bitch. Three. Got it. Yo, Mig back is back. Oh, yes! I see your ass down there. Oh, you gonna die, boy! Oh, there's so many! Kill them all! Double kill. <laughs> Let me shoot someone into Cubby. How did you not kill him? <laughs> Yo, how, did you not, wait, how did you not kill your wait, friend I there? Somebody. I killed his turret! Oh, shit! Overkill! No, where the ball's at? Yes! Kill. Yo, running riot, running riot. riot. The running riot Russian badger. Yo, yo, yo I finally yo, found yo, a rape. What? 15 what? kills, no deaths. I like found a fucking rape. Dude, my man has 33 votes right now. What? Finally rape. found a rape. See what I, can do with the Rafe. I think the only thing that would have made Reach more fun is if I played it on Xbox, because I definitely feel like the Halo shit talking on Xbox Live is the only communication in the world more toxic than League of Legends. I developed a new toxic insult to use in League of Legends. Can I can I test it here, focus group? Sure. I <clears throat> I can tell by the way you type that you're fat. What do you think? 
I ain't laughing, but I get it. <laughs> I'm about a oh, dash of lemon. How <laughs> about a dash of iron down your fucking ass out? <laughs> what is that voice? Congratulations, you've successfully made it to the end of the video with enough brain cells to comprehend the words coming out of my mouth. If you still understand what I'm saying, you're officially a part of the elite. <laughs> 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 Jello, those, that set of text is like so wrong. Like, if it didn't start with M, you didn't, you wouldn't know what it's talking about. Ah! I don't know what you're saying anymore. <laughs> what is going on? You There's stole his execution. I got a double. I just asked Jello what was wrong, and then I just heard. Ah! Ah! Reach. <laughs> 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 Every single minute cool, that Joe plays a bungee game, his DNA goes back like a hundred years. Oh, that dude, <laughs> dude, oh my god. god! What if all your brain's gray matter has melted into Mountain Dew and you no longer have the mental capacity to play the greatness that is Halo Reach? Rest assured that there are other Halo titles out there that require far less cognition. Pazzy, have I shown you top 10 Halo game? Number 6, we have Halo Wars. Halo Wars is better than StarCraft because you could play it on your couch. <laughs> Speaking of couches, <laughs> Coming in at number five, Ikea. <laughs> Wait a minute. You made this entire fucking video without a single RB and the chief reference. That's fucking stupid. Fuck this shitty fucking video. Fuck, 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 swas, 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 swas. That's about it, dog. Halo Reach. Do not wow. forget to buy some Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 on your way out because that shit's gonna be gone. I mean, it's not like a limited edition merch drop from Gucci or anything like that, but we can only make so much of it at any point in time, and I imagine you guys are just gonna be chomping at the bit to snort this off someone's ass. Don't actually do that. That's, okay. that's not a good no, way. No, 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 no. No. And I don't want this video to get age restricted by YouTube. Just give me the money. Jesus Christ. I hope you had half as much fun watching this as I did making it because it was a blast and I will catch you guys next time when I make a rat plushie that I throw into outer space. I would actually be surprised if he did, if he actually did that. I would actually be very much surprised, but I am slouching in my chair. <laughs> But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's reaction video. I know it, it's like I said at the beginning of this. There goes my webcam. Oh boy, that that is that is a cursed image. I'm looking at my webcam over here. Well, I'm gonna finish it off. Oh, this video off. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. My webcam is now bugging out. I don't know why this is happening all of a sudden. But we'll be. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.